my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Lit Code. In our previous video, we have learned how to create this sidebar panel using this particular piece of code that is uh, this like elements dot create side panel. And within this, we are passing this argument as our title. So it needs a title, uh, the string and a callback function. Right? I mean, it's going to return as a callback function. So here, uh, today what we are going to do actually is once we click on this uh, any element so within this elements tab if we click on any of the element that should get reflected within this particular side panel so that is what we are going to do now so let us try to read the documentation that will give us more idea I believe so here we can see this get side panel right so using this object we are going to get that so for that here we have this three arguments so not arguments three methods like set page and set object and set expression so we are going to use this set expression not the page or the object so we are going to use this page but we'll talk about this maybe in later on so now we are going to focus on this set expression okay so here if you see the set expression method it's uh, need one expression and uh, title and a callback function but those are just options so we no need to worry about that we are going to worry about this expression so it says that an expressions to be evaluated in context of the inspected page that means whenever we are going to select any of the node that should be uh, displayed within this particular area as a tree node tree right so that is what here they are mentioned so yes expandable node tree right so uh, but uh, what after looking at this of course we are not able to understand anything so from where we are going to write this set expression still we are not able to figure it out so let's dive in and read the documentation again and again so that of course we will be able to get some information i believe so i'm just going to copy this guy here and here i'm going to find this so here this first matching let's go there and not this yes so here we can see that this is what actually we are using this create site bar pan and here it's need two arguments one is the title and another one is the callback function now if we go inside this callback function here you can see this guy is actually going to return us this another object that is going to be result so a object we are going to get that so let us use that so here i'm going to pass that i will name this as panel so that will be easier for us to understand and let us see what we have within this panel so here i can say panel dot uh, yes so we are able to get this set expression and within this we are going to write expression uh, i don't know what we have to write it so i'm just going to save this and if i go back to this extension and refresh and of course i have to close this and refresh the page and then i'm going to open this now if i go here you can see we are able to get this right we are able to get some of the expression so this is what the expression actually means i believe but once i click on this it is actually not changing but uh, if i try to open it again and here you can see we are able to get this now uh, okay so that means we are able to get this but it is only giving us for the first time but uh, not on the selection right so of course we might have a listeners so let's get into the document again and here we are going to dive on this particular piece of code so set expression now let's find this and here you can see um, there should be a, some listeners yes we have this listener but this is on show so we don't want this 2000 years later okay so this name looks uh, relevant to me so let us check what this guy is going to give us so creates a panel with panel sidebar okay so this is the guy i believe so the code is going to be uh, let's copy this and find it again okay so this is the add event listener of course we want this listeners and it says that in the function we are not going to get anything uh, that's absolutely fine so what we can do is we are we can wrap this code within this listener so for that we have to write this on selection change so here i'm going to say chrome dot dev tools um, then for, followed by panels dot elements so within the elements there will be a on selection change so we got this and this guy is going to ask for a event listener so add listeners and this listener is not going to return us anything it's just going to listen this and within this we are going to paste this piece of code right so what we are going to do now is first let us try to refresh and i have to close this and refresh the page and if you go to this and 
click inspect now if you go to this let x path tab here you can see we are able to get something but once we click on this see we are able to get the different values of course it's refreshing but we are not able to get anything right so um, what we are going to do now is we are going to get the selected node so whatever the node we are going to select here we want to get that right so for that i have already searched in the, on the internet and i got this so here here i'm just i have to use this dot dollar zero that means whatever the value we have selected in the elements panel that is going to return us by this expression so here not written actually it is going to set in that particular tab so i'm just going to refresh and of course i'm going to refresh again and i'm just going to close this and open up again and if I go to this let x path now here we can see the result has varied and here if I click on this of course we are able to get this but what we are interested on this is we don't want the entire node objects all the node objects which are null there uh, we are only need this attributes right so we are going to get this attributes only so let me just go back and here I can say dot attributes if you remember uh, we have used this already in our this right uh, context menu right so if I go to this particular place here, you can see we are using this target element dot attributes, right? The same concept here as well. So this is like your target element and we are using this attributes, right? So that's it. Let us go back here and refresh and refresh. Of course, close refresh and then open again. So come on, I can open this. And here, if I go to this, voila, we got that, right? So that's easy. I, I thought this is going to be very challenging, but of course it's going to be very very easy. So let us use this guy and if we try to inspect, wow. So we got this class which says has child nodes and um, we got some data. And if you inspect this text box here, and here we know this ID has full name. So yes, we are able to get that right. So of course we are able to get this now. Uh, of course this becomes now dynamic. So whatever the value we are able to click here or we are able to select here, that's going to reflect in our tab. So that's absolutely fine. So we almost done with this. Uh, the only thing is, of course we cannot uh, show this information to users. Of course we have to set HTML page and everything. So for that we have already have a method called set HTML. So if I go here and uh, not this i think so yeah so if we go to the previous page we have already seen this right set page so we are going to use the set page and uh, everything but in the next video so stay tuned probably will learn something new i believe and of course this is also new learning for me so i hope i'm enjoying i hope you are also enjoying um that's it from my side thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon